Hey folks, how you doing? Uh, this is Paul. I've just got done with the tirade um, of 45 minutes and I feel better because at least I can separate myself from this filth that surrounds us and that probably includes you. And I am happy to say, I'm not happy to say it honestly. I wish it was different, but that's what's come about here. What we're going to do now is uh, that's a 45 minute tirade and I hope you give it all of the intellectual thought that it deserves. Now, we're going to go ahead and get on to the news today. Uh, all I know is that we've got uh, silver roughly at $25.40. We've got gold that's hovering around $2,000. And uh, Bitcoin is at, I believe, 27300 or so. Okay? So things have cooled a bit. Now, let's go ahead. Uh, it's too late to check on the Dow and all that kind of crap. So let's just go ahead and get into the leftist news so that it can uh, raise my blood pressure sufficiently and let's get on with this it is now uh going on 2 a.m in the morning on this early tuesday morning okay i'm not even gonna go there this is what i got into which caused me to get into the tirade is this phony baloney over here uh big friends with redacted the channel redacted by the way because evidently redacted that alcoholic has been nothing ever was um, and I mean, and he's on our side, but he still promotes the scam. He still adds credence to it, which I will not do under any circumstance. I will not call it by anything other than the scam or the hoax. That's it. I will not offer any stories or verbiage of it, uh, uh, giving it any credence whatsoever, because that's why you come here and worship me as a god. Because I'm the only one that does that. I refuse to call it anything other than what it is. Okay? All right. It's saying here, okay, here he is giving the finger. Okay, so I went through the whole thing on this, okay? Another one that wants to lead us uh, into obedience but doesn't know that he's doing that. Or he knows he's being paid off to lead the ones that are trying to resist and get them to go along to a what they think is a little lesser degree. Uh, no, no goodbyes. Fox staffers celebrate what what they do. What 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 happened? They fire him. I'm sorry. It's one o'clock in, in the morning. I don't know what's going on. Oh, so so Tucker's gone now. Tucker's gone. All right. So Tucker's gone. Well, who are they going to put in his place? Folks, this smells rotten, really, really rotten. So he's gone? Okay, Fox Tucker pulled 2.6 million viewers in final airings. Okay, so the, the, um, the cabal has decided to take out the person who goes after the people who are basically entertaining the ideas that I tell you about, but he gets them and corrals them into obedience. So that's not good enough anymore. They're going to have to just tell you straight how it is, okay? And just give you no choice at all or no uh, illusions about it, okay? What's next for Carlson? Well, maybe he'll make the Carlson News Network or whatever. Oh, my God. As bad as he was, at least he came out and said things that I thought made some sort of sense, but not all the time. Again, he was a scam believer, and that tells you that he was in on it. He was a scam believer, refused to call it by its uh, proper name, which is a scam, and he referred to it and gave it credence by calling it everything else and how you could go about fighting it and how we could deal with it. There was nothing to deal with. We're not going to get into it. I just went 45 minutes of that. But we, we carry on now. He's obviously been paid off or um, he's just simply uh, been run over and is a victim. One of the two. Much like Trump. Trump was the same way. He uh, came up with it. And he was very proud of it. And, uh, you know, uh, it's horseshit garbage. Uh, let's see what it says here. Uh, new scam. That what this is for? New scam variant. Itching in the eyes. Well, how about itching in the anus? I'll pay attention to it when it starts making you itch in the anus, okay? I'll be waiting for the movie. I'm sure Hollywood has some ideas for that, okay? 
Folks, it's going to be everything that I can do to get through this news report. I'm giving you fair warning. You understand? So now the new scam variant, it makes the eyes itch, does it? Folks, do you think I'm making this up? Do you think I'm making this up? What does this say? I, I, I don't know if you're seeing it. Is it there? And, and I, Am I getting it for you? Is it there? Right here. New scam. Variant itching of the anus. My goodness. We'll have to watch that anal itching next, I think. Oh, good Lord. And then you wonder why I don't consider you to be human beings. You're just simply things. Garbage, filth, vomit. Then, then you wonder why and then I can't get any subs. You don't want to be seen as sub vomit. That's what you are to me, as far as I'm concerned. You're disgusting, foul creatures and nothing else. Can't see your way through this. Hmm. Would you feel better? Let me ask you a question. If this said a new scam variant itches the anus, would, would, that, would that make you feel a little bit better? I, I'm being honest with you, would it? Okay, let's move on. Folks, remember when I told you I was going to give you hemorrhoids? It, that story actually came out. I, I predicted it. They took that channel along with many other ones because I told you that, that, you know, it would be eventually cause hemorrhoids. And that's exactly what they said. It would cause uh, ongoing hemorrhoids. Folks, I, 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 not folks, sub vomit, sub vomit with the exception of my 37 people here. <sighs> Giant SpaceX rocket leaves crater. Serious damage at Texas base. Um, it was the most powerful rocket evidently in the world. It was bigger than that Saturn V that launched the, uh, the lunar missions. So, um, Yeah. They probably made. I think what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to, like, the next time they're going to have to big, uh, d uh, dig this gigantic crater or something to, you know, keep it from, you know, throwing ash all over the place. Because evidently it made a big mess. That, um, I would believe, because I saw it with my own seven eyes. Okay. Uh, the Don says that he's no Nixon. Okay. I can't say because I was only a little shaver back in the days of... Uh, Mr. Nixon, I remember he did want to expand the war uh, to Cambodia in Vietnam, which is what made the uh, students uh, in colleges um, w uh, want to uh, demonstrate all over uh, because uh, they had enough of it. They had enough of this. It was already the war was already going on for nearly eight, nine years. And uh, they didn't uh, seven, eight years or whatever it was. Uh, if you uh, consider the. Um, the advisors going in there and the minor fighting and then the eventual all-out fighting in Vietnam with uh, Westmoreland advising a lot of tanks. A lot of tanks to be sent to Vietnam. They were going to win that war. They got to bring a lot of tanks so that the fucking, the, the fucking gooks over there could fucking um, flood out areas and make them into sitting ducks. I don't want to get into it. Westmoreland. Big hero of World War II couldn't figure out the fucking geography. You can't move tanks when they fucking... These people have been fucking making uh, rice um, patties for fucking centuries and thousands of years. I don't even want to get it. They flood the areas. They knew about tunnels. They had tunnels down to a virtual science, more than a virtual science. Different levels of tunnels, depending on weather and other factors don't want to get into it. You're sub-zombie vomit. My 37 people excluded. So you have no interest in this. Wolverine! Wolverine! Okay? Get back over there and get back to it. That includes all of my disc golf buddies that are Wolverine! Wolverine! Fucking retards. Fucking sub-zombie fucking retards. I 
I told you, I was going to have a really hard time getting through this. I ain't kidding. Um, Chris Christie believes he can take down the uh, X-45 President Donald Clinton. Um, folks, this is another example of what I tell you of yellow journalism, uh, a, a drudge. Uh, here we go. Every candidate that isn't a Democrat has to be uh, made to look silly and a befuddling and this is what you have. This is not by accident. Now, look, I don't like this man either, but I am grateful to him because at least I could be ignored when I went into a place to get work when I told him that I didn't have the miracle, the absolute miracle that saved the galaxy. This, you understand, is a miracle. And at least I was only um, patronized and overlooked from hiring because I didn't have the miracle. You understand? And he made it so that that would be okay for them to do that. But they couldn't come out directly and say that you can't work because you didn't have the scam. You understand? But I'm grateful to him nonetheless because I didn't have to do the scam thing. You understand? But like I told you, don't think that this is just by accident, unless it's a sodomite, unless it's a sodomite, you have to make the person look, it has to be a, a sodomite Democrat, or it, this is how you have to show them. This is all part of the game, folks. I know you're too dim-witted. Again, you're sub-vomit, sub-zombies, and I can't, that's all I'm going to refer to you as now in the news. When I come to the news... Um, that's how you're going to be referred to as sub-vomit, okay? I'm sorry about that, but I have to, unless you worship me as a god, if you worship me as a god, then I'll, I'll, make, the, I'll make that determination, and then I will take you under my wing, okay? DeSantis, that's our governor here in Florida, caught off guard by question of bad polls. I see, so he's like that. Oh, my God, now it explains it all. I see, I see. Okay. Hunting by Biden, Hunter Biden lawyer seeks ethics probe of green for verbal abuses. I see. Um, could we make him look the same way? This sodomite, could we make this sodomite look as silly as this? Hmm. What looks more sillier, this decent, this decent man, or this fuck zombie that you worship for sodomy? Uh, again, you're not humans. You're just like sub creatures, like sub vomit, like an amoeba. That's how you are. You can't figure out the pattern, folks. It's disgusting. It's dis It's absolutely disgusting. And if it was like once in a while, but this is every single time. But you dim fuck shit, zombie fuck asses, sub zombies, amoebas don't understand it. You don't pick up on it. CNN sours on Lemon out after 17 years at the network. Must be a big mistake. CNBC anchor accuses fired. Uh, sorry, folks, it keeps fucking taking me off. You know how a drudge loves to do this and take and takes you off when you're trying to read their insipid news. CNBC anchor accuses fired NBC boss of sexual harassment. I see. Seventy percent don't want Mister uh, Fuck Shit Stupid Idiot Fucking Whoa. Well, we can't have this. Uh, people have had enough of you not doing this. We're going to make you do it. But they didn't force you, of course. More sub-zombie, amoeba-thinking, amoeba-fuck-shit 
sub-zombie fucking retarded shit for you, sub-zombie fucking vomit. Okay? That fucking thing that doesn't belong that, that, to doing anything except being looked after. So they don't want old uh, fuck shit there to run, do they? 70%? Okay. Carol Burnett on turning 90. I feel like I'm 11. It sounds, It looked to me like she had an alcohol problem, but maybe she didn't. She claimed she sued the National Enquirer uh, for it or something, didn't she? She uh, the, the National Midnight Star or whatever it was, that paper. I used to get those. Remember when you could pay like $1.49 and you'd get like a, one of their um, subscriptions that were like $1.59? Remember? And, and they had like the Globe... They had the the, the the Midnight Star or whatever the hell it was. They had like three or four of those papers. They were interesting. I mean, you know, if you were sitting there working as a guard all night, it gave you something to read and digest. How true it was, I don't know. Some of the things I think are true that they were in there. Not not many, frankly. Space Force Chief says USA facing new era of threats beyond Earth. Yes, it's called China. And China's making right now, from what I understand, what I heard in the news, is they are making satellites or these satellite uh, controllers that are not going to, they're not going to destroy the satellites that we have up there, but they are simply going to take them over, much like um, drones. They're getting technology which take over the functions of the drone and uh, allow you to control what the drone does by taking over the controls of it. It's going to be the same thing, folks. And that's when Bitcoin is going to go bye-bye. It's going to go bye-bye. Because it's, that's what's going to happen. It's going to, it's going to be a completely different world. And all that cryptocurrency, you won't even be able to access it. We won't get into it. SpaceX risk sperm mutations, I see. Okay, well, that's real bad news. Video suspect accused of operating secret Chinese police stations mingling with Schumer and Adams because they're being paid off. You understand? Schumer and Adams. What they are doing, speaking of things that aren't human, the uh, those folks over there from uh, these folks right here, <laughs> those folks, even though they're not human beings, they deserve, because they're no threat to people around them, they deserve to have tranquility and the ability to live in the manner that they wish to live. And these, and these um, police forces that are made up of people who are shuttled there to harass them, this should not be allowed, and I'm glad they're doing something about it. Now, of course, you can't mate with them or anything else like that. Um, I, we, un, we all understand this. I've been going through this since, since I was 26 years old, folks. But they deserve to have the right to live here without being horrendously harassed. Horrendously. It's terrible, and I hope they do something about it. They deserve it. They're decent things. They don't hurt anyone Typically. Sorry about this. It keeps taking me off here. Leakers reveal Kremlin secretly panicking over Putin arrest warrant. My God. Folks, again, do you see this? Our fuck ass here. Our fuck ass here. Joe Blow. Are you fucking kidding me? We'll never hear about that, will we? Only about the panicking in the Kremlin. I see. I see. Well, I'm sure you mindless fuck zombies. This will all make sense to you. Jesus Christ. It's fucking dumber and dumber as we go. I told you I'm going to have trouble with this getting through it. Hang on. I got to take pictures. Sorry, folks. Stand by.
Sorry about that, folks. Work calls, and I have to do my thing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right. So uh, uh, Schumer and Adams there were uh, on board the payoff there as those uh, those disgusting foul sadists came and, and tried to destroy the people's lives that were coming over from that place over there. Shi Shang Wee Wong. Huh? You may not like me, but it's the truth. And I feel bad for them. I'm glad they're doing something about this, but nothing will be done because it's all tied up into the congressman, the payoffs, obviously. On island south of Taiwan, U.S. prepares for conflict. I see. What are you going to shoot? Bubblegum? What are you going to shoot? You're giving all of the, uh, you're giving a tremendous amount of our artillery and our bullets and everything else to a place that's fighting the Kremlin menace, right? Okay. Stupid things. By the way, what was he removed for, uh, uh, Trucker Carlson? What was he moved for? What was he removed for? Huh? The grim life and brutal death of a Wagner recruit. I see. I see. Again, folks, like I told you, I'm going to have a very difficult time in getting through this report. How about uh, these poor women in the United States military who are, in many cases, violently raped in the military or coerced into sexual abuse? What about that? No. We, we don't hear about that. We don't hear about that, right? Okay. We, we, we won't get into it. We won't get into it. What is woman? Question mark. Kansas could be the first state to decide. Be far, far too complicated. In this day and age of sodomy, be far Sodom and Gomorrah. We wouldn't be able to tell that. That is just a little bit too deep. All right, so now I'm seeing this again. Study, stress rapidly ages body, but can be reversed in days. How? With cosmetic surgery, maybe? Uh, scientists say that fried snacks lead to depression. Can you imagine this, folks? Can you imagine this? Can you imagine the criteria, much like that um, galactic warming criteria that they're going to pull out of their ass? Can you imagine this? How do they determine that? Somebody uh, gets some uh, Lay's potato chips and they become depressed. Wouldn't you love to see the uh, guidelines for that um, epiphany that they're coming out with there, huh? Would you like to see that? I would. You talk about it. Folks, this is so, it, the insipidness of what I have to read right here is offensive. Rogers a jet. Okay, so Aaron Rodgers evidently signed with the Jets. All right. I like the guy. I didn't like him at first. I told you about that story. Uh, it was on, I think it was on my last channel. I loved Brett Favre. I thought he was a man's man and a funny guy. I thought he was a really good guy. And he was an old man. He was like, what, 42 or something? Uh uh, playing with the Vikings after he got done with the Packers because he retired and then he regretted it and he wanted to come back. And they just said, sayonara, we've got Aaron Rodgers. And I hated him for that. I hated Rodgers for that. And uh, Favre was crying. I mean, it's, it, it's unbelievable. There's a lot of feelings that go into that because the quarterbacks can't train with the same kind of fierceness as the others. And they have to deal with that. And they feel guilty about it and stuff like that. But the, the, the quarterbacks can't. They just can't do it. The body doesn't work the same when you're 42 years old. Your muscles get tight quickly and all that kind of stuff. Everything works different. And I felt so bad for him. And um, I hated Aaron Rodgers that you know, he went to Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers. And, you know, but I will tell you this right now. 
I was watching and I like in that first year that he came out and it was like halfway through the season or something. And it was like in December or something. And I watched that man throw that ball. And I have never seen a ball that looked like it went out of the stadium. I, I never saw a ball that looked like it was thrown so high that it, that it, it, it looked like it was out of the stadium. I never seen that before. And I've watched football since I was a little, little shaver. So Aaron Rodgers has got gut. I loved when he said that he had the scam, but only in his toe. He had toe scam. Uh, I give him credit for that. So I've got a 180 that I pulled on Aaron Rodgers. I may even start rooting for the Jets at this point. Let's see. Okay, Clarence Thomas's billionaire friend did have business before Supreme Court. Who cares? Uh, cult advised starving for salvation, police say. Dozens have died. Crypto dead in America, says longtime Bitcoin bull. Let's have a look at that. Because, folks, um, it may go up. It might do all these things. But, folks, it's going to have a tragic end. Because they're going to wind up uh, demanding... Uh, ID or fingerprints or facial recognition or something, or you're not going to be able to get on the internet. Therefore, you're not going to be able to get your cryptocurrencies or you're going to have to give somebody else your passwords. Crypto is dead in America, says longtime Bitcoin bull Shamath Palipayatia. Tech investor Shamath, I'll skip the last name, who previously claimed Bitcoin has replaced gold, would eventually get to 200,000. Now says crypto is dead in America. The United States authorities have firmly pointed their guns at crypto. They haven't even begun to start yet. You fuck zombies, sub fuck zombies, will take anal screening. Uh, as an Olympians, we allowed them to be sodomized when they went to China to compete. We allowed that. We, we um, accepted their, what I consider to be rape. Okay? They're sodomized. Uh, sodomizing. Uh, what difference does it make here for this? This doesn't make any difference. It's coming. They can control what goes in your anal cavity. You don't think they can control your ability to get to your fuck shit, uh, crypto shit? Huh? Folks, they've already gotten into your anus. <laughs> yeah, they, it's, um, they're... Uh, is uh, firmly pointing their guns at crypto. He said in the latest episode of All In Podcast, SEC has ramped up its enforcement of the crypto industry, bearing down on the companies, and projects that were allegedly selling unregistered securities. I see. And here's the fucking genius right here. They should pay me. I could tell you a lot more than this fucking dumb idiot. So he he says it's going to replace gold, is it? I see. You know, climb to 200,000, I see. Now he has much more cautious views on cryptocurrencies these days. Crypto is dead, quote unquote, in America. Um, a, a fucking Hindu here, or whatever he is, says. Uh, he blamed crypto's demise largely on regulators. Well, we'd hate to have regulation, wouldn't we? Uh, who have gotten much... More aggressive in their pursuit of bad actors in the industry. We're not going to read any more of this. You already know where it's going. Wait until you have to have identification in order to be able to get onto the internet. How are you ass fuck fucking cryptocurrency fuck shits? How are you going to get onto the internet and get a hold of your thing? You're going to pay somebody else to do it for you? You're going to give them your passwords? Huh? This is all coming, folks. You like getting it into your anal cavity. This is what you demand. If the scam is bad enough, the new scam that's coming, you're going to have to get all that testing up your, up your rectum, the anal cavity. Fucking stupid idiots. I told you, I'm going to have a real hard time getting through this one. I'm telling you. All right, so this fucking dumb Hindu here, or whatever the hell he is, thinks that it's going to be a bad idea to have cryptos now. He's much more tame on the idea now. Much more conservative. I see. Okay, it's going to replace gold, is it? I see. Yeah, it's going to replace gold. I see. They're worthless. Go worthless, you know. 
worthless. It, you know, gold's only been around for fucking, what, 20,000 years or whatever the hell it is, 15,000 years that they found it all the way back then, right? Be replaced by your crypto, right? A postcard from San Fran, uh, that's Sissico. Um, empty robot cars filling street. What does that mean? What does that mean? Empty robot cars. What is that? We've got to take a look at this. San Francisco is a postcard from a driverless car future. Here's what it's like. We're not getting into this. It's more flights of fancy by people who think and see themselves as very, very smart that aren't smart at all. Anyone that does simple mathematics, maybe not so simple, can understand the variables that go along with driving. It is not possible to have artificial intelligence to be able to control cars safely. It's not possible. Because if something happens, a variable happens, they don't know how to handle it. It's part of 